Chapter two of our book is about distributions. And I want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to talk about, why it's there, and what you can use it for in the real world. The what part is easy. We're talking about distributions, which are collections of data on the same thing, like a whole bunch of people talking about how much money they made last year, or various cities talking about the employment rates. You get a lot of information. And instead of having a dozen or a hundred or a million little numbers, you can put it all together into a collection called a distribution. And then the important thing is that you can start simplifying it. You can collapse it into a table and say, how many people have zero kids? How many people have one kid? How many people have two or three kids and so on? Create a table. It's a lot easier to deal with. But an even better step beyond that is to make a graph. And that's one of the most important things we can talk about. Making simple graphs, data visualizations, include things like bar charts and pie charts and box plots and histograms. They're probably the single most important thing that you can do in this class because we're human animals and we see data and it means something to you. And it can guide your insights in ways that are sometimes surprising and sometimes really uh, obvious. You know, I make graphs for myself. For instance, I do some outside consulting work and I chart how much I get paid for that to decide, are, is it a good year? Is it a bad year? I also make videos and I get money for them. And I decide what kinds of videos to make depending on the bar charts that show how much I get paid for each one of those. I've used charts for so many different things that help guide me. And I think this is now really the what for. When you gather a little bit of data, like how many things you sell on Etsy, or how many people come into your business before noon, or how many clients email you before you get a paying contract, any one of those things, you can create a very simple distribution and then you can start summarizing it with tables and with graphics to find really the hidden meaning to guide your own decisions and the things that you do. And so that is the what, the why, and the what for of distributions.